by Vision Express. KUAM TV first on Guam. KUAM News Hotspot is presented by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. All systems go. We are the hotspot coming to you five by five right now on YouTube, Peacock, Facebook, and KUM TV8. Hafade from Harmon, everybody. I'm Jason Salas. On behalf of the entire crew, we're glad you're watching us today. In just a bit, we are going to make our way over to the Hilton. So we're taking you to Tumon on a very, very beautiful day where our Destiny Cruise gets a sneak peek at what people can expect with the upcoming Myla Tafantessa event happening on the 23rd. Also, we, we will take you to Nihi Zan KUM where we are going to teach you about. The Ketupa, a very, very wonderful tool. Um, I learned how to make one when I, was, when I was very young. I did not do so well, so we're gonna let the experts, uh, both young and old, show you how to make the Ketupa and what you can do with it, amazing. And News Bites, we know you can't wait for that, so that is coming up. However, on Tuesday, May 23rd, the place to be is the Hilton Resort and Spa on beautiful Tumon Bay with the Micronesian Chef Association's Myla Tafanchesa event. Joining us from the Hilton is our Destiny Cruise, as well as Chef Joel Aranas, who is just one of the many talented culinary experts that will be showcasing his amazing love of food, preparing, serving, and making you happy with it. Let's go to this. Hafa day, everybody. We're joining you live from Hilton in Tumon, and joining us today is Chefs Katie and Chef Joel. How are you guys doing today? Good, thank you. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Excited for this event. Yes, I'm excited too because we're talking about food today. Oh yeah, our favorite thing. It's something super exciting because ahead of us is the Myla Tafanchetta yes, event. Right. So before we get into the food, I wanted to ask you both if you can tell us a little bit about that event. So this is an event put on by the Micronesia Chefs Association. Um, it involves multiple hotels and restaurants from across the island. Um, and then we're featuring local produce from different farmers uh, all across the island. Uh, our produce is tomatoes from Jigo. And uh, the event is at the Hyatt on Tuesday, May 23rd from 6 to 9 p.m. in the Grand Ballroom there. Yeah, super exciting. And that's a really important tidbit that we need to know is that the produce is local and it's to also showcase our local farmers, which is such a great thing. I wanted to ask you both, though, because you are part of the association. Did you guys know in advance what your produce and your protein was going to be? Well, it's kind of tricky because sometimes they surprise you. The chefs are very sur surpriseful. So uh, we had a few weeks to know our, our um, produce and our, our, our protein. Wow. So off camera, we know that your protein is brisket, which we have right here. And you also have the produce, which is tomato. So was were these really hard things to work with, uh, especially with you having to make a dessert? Can you guys tell us a little bit about that process? Yeah, the dessert part was a little tricky with tomatoes because tomatoes you don't normally think of as a sweet item. Um, but my mind kind of, I brainstormed for a little bit and my mind kind of went to peanut butter and jelly because we also have peanut butter as a sponsor. So um, they want us to incorporate peanut butter with one of the desserts or one of the items in general. So my mind automatically went to peanut butter and jelly, which I think is a childhood favorite of many, many people. So. Yeah. I was like, I think I can turn tomatoes into kind of a sweet aspect of it, but play around with the, the salty sweet part of it. And with putting it in a cream puff, I put panko breadcrumbs on top, so it kind of imitates the bread aspect of the peanut butter and jelly. Oh my god, yes, he, like you said, delicious. So, woo, my stomach is growling just thinking about that. And also, what about you? How did you incorporate well, brisket? The drink, the first thing came out to my mind is the Bloody Mary, but since we're doing an alcoholic, so we came out with a tomato sangria. It is with a tomato, orange juice, lime juice, and a little bit of spice. Uh, we, we did uh, cut a little bit of the uh, serrano peppers Whoa. on it. And then for the um, bruschetta, we came up with the baked brisket bruschetta. So what we did is uh, we prob gonna brace the uh, brisket for a few more hours, uh, four, or five more hours like that. And then we um, incorporate the tomato with the um, tomato concasse with wow. the um, truffle and yuzu touch on it. Wow, everything sounds amazing. Okay, if I can ask you both, could you guys give us a little bit of a demonstration of how you guys will assemble these dishes and the sure, drink? I'll, drink with the, I'll start with the drink. Since oh, this nice. is a spice tomato sangria, 
I'm acting like a bartender today. <laughs> he was showing us his skills <laughs> off camera. We said if if the if he doesn't catch the cup just yeah. and it's clanking, just keep going. So it never I, happened. So I used to get some orange juice here, Ooh. and then tomato. All right. Okay. And then I have let me just make sure I'm not in the way. I'm some uh, freshly <laughs> squeezed lime right here, and then um, maybe we can put some mint. Like, you know, the bartender that likes to do that, right? And Whoa! Then put it there. Brings and then they the oils. Oh, <laughs> yeah, all the oils. Like that, and something like that. <laughs> he caught it! They start shake it. <laughs> shake it, shake it, shake, shake it. Shake it. Yeah. Awesome. And then here you go. Just the drink. We're gonna pour it right here. Wow! It's a perfect pour, right? Oh, wow. Perfect yeah. pour, not a splash. Right put some lime. And then I have my umbrella. Whoa! Can For the shade in yeah, Island. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And you know, obviously we're under the hot sun right now, so we need the shade. So yeah, <laughs> we're just kidding. Spice, tomato, wow, amazing. Is it okay if I try this? Sure, later probably. All right. <laughs> we're gonna try I'm gonna try it right now. All right, and then while I'm gonna try this, uh, is it okay if you go ahead and demonstrate sure. the brisket? I'm gonna take a sip of this. Yeah. So delicious. All right. So we have a homemade uh, bread where we incorporate again the tomatoes in the bread. So when you eat it, there's a lot of tomatoes going on in it. Yeah. So we have the bread, toast this to make it crunchy. Okay, and then uh, as what I said, we have the baked uh, brisket. Uh, we cook for three to four hours when we have to assemble it right here. I make two. Okay. Oh, you make two? Yeah, I make two. And then, of course, my tomato kong kasi. Local tomatoes, put it on top. From Jigo. From Jigo. Man. Remember, we're making how many of this? How many are you guys making for the competition? Uh, four, I think about 400, 500 pieces. So we're oh my gosh. Yeah, for everybody to enjoy it. Wow. And then we have here the... Uh, the uh, cream fresh sour cream on top. Amazing. Yeah, gonna yeah. be like this. Fresh. Cream fresh. And then I have some uh, corn sprout just for the display. And a little bit of microgreens I see in there as well. Yes, and there you go. Wow. Uh, I can probably design the plate a little bit. It's yeah. all about the presentation. Yes. And there you go. Wow, that's beautiful. There you go. All right, there you have it. And you have the uh, spice baked brisket bruschetta. Beautiful. Yeah. It looks amazing. All right, Chef Katie, I'm ready. I'm ready for the PB and J. All right. All right. So I'm gonna just be right here with the microphone. Okay. I'm trying not to get in you guys' way, but. All right. So we have uh, cream puffs over here that I just uh, toasted in the oven a little bit and then I cut the top off. Uh, it has the panko breadcrumbs on top, like I said. So this is the tomato jam that I made. And we're just gonna put a little bit in the bottom. You know, you wanna have even, like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right? You wanna have a good balance of the jelly to the peanut butter. You don't wanna have too much of one, too much of another. So we're gonna fill the bottom of that with the tomato jelly. And then this is a peanut butter mousse that I made. It has uh, ground ginger and nutmeg in it to kind of play with a little bit of spice that um, to go along with the sweet of the jelly. Ooh. So, and then peanut butter, a little bit of powdered sugar and some whipped cream. And that's all the mousses. And then we'll just pipe a little bit wow. on top, like that. And then we have some <laughs> toasted peanuts to give a little bit of a crunch. And then put his little hat on. Oh my gosh, it has a hat. A little hat so you get the, the breadcrumbs. Wow. And there you have your peanut butter and tomato jelly cream puff. Cream puff. And it's so fancy, by the way. Like, it's a great, like, unique take on PB&J. It's a, it's a fancy version yeah. of it, right? <laughs> like We feel fans. Right? It's such a home style kind of food, and you don't think of it as a dessert. You know, that's usually a lunch or something like that. So this is taking it, kind of upgrading it a little bit with a... A chefy twist on it, if you will. <laughs> it's elevated. Yes, we elevated. love it. All right. So, 
as you were saying, 400 pieces, right? Yeah. Of each, so will you also have to make 400 of yeah. these as well? Yes. Oh my gosh. So are you guys excited? I know off camera we were also talking about the fact that because you guys are part of the association, you guys do work alongside the other chefs. So are you guys in it to win it? Or is this a friendly competition? Or do you want to show yeah. out? How are we feeling? It's a friendly, friendly competition. And of course you want to win it, right? <laughs> You're in it to win it. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. How about you, Chef Katie? Always in it to win it. You know, of course you want to be the best. You want to sell out of all of your, your items, right? So, but it is a friendly competition. We've known these chefs for years, you know, we've worked with some of them, you know, and, um, you know, it becomes a friendly competition of, you know, trying each other. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, I want to see what they did with that. So it's, it's all fun and games and it's really exciting because this is kind of the first big event that the chefs have been able to put on um, after pandemic. So um, it's been, you know, we have meetings with the chefs that have started back up again um, a few months ago. And it's been nice being able to reconnect with all of the chefs. And, you know, everyone's kind of been changing places because of pandemic and a lot of things have happened. Um, but it's been really nice to be able to get together and, and see everybody again and, and hang out and see what people have been doing and everything like that. Well, awesome. I'm so excited for you guys and excited for your fellow chefs. Um, but before we wrap it up, can you guys tell us when this is happening and who this event will benefit? Okay, um, again, this is on uh, May 23, Tuesday at Hyatt. And actually inviting all of you guys there, you know, to come join us. Well, uh, $75, right? Yeah, and those, this will be benefit the MCA Association of Guam and other. They sponsor a lot of stuff, even the students. So uh, come and join us, and we're happy to see you there. Yes, definitely. Well, again, thank you guys so much for having us here today to try and witness this amazing food in front of us. Again, the Myla Tafin Chessa event is happening at the Hyatt Regency in Tumon. So if you're free, don't forget to check it out. But back to you guys for now. I've been saying this since the day Destiny came to work with us. She gets the best assignments. Going to Tumon, check. Trying amazing food, check. Making new friends, check plus plus. <sighs> All right. I, hey, I got, I got a pretty good gig too. I, I get to sit here and, and talk with you guys. And please stay tuned because when we come back, we got good stuff coming up right here on The Hotspot. I'm coming back on top. recognize the exceptional high school seniors of the class of 2023. These outstanding individuals have soared to great heights and achieved the highest academic honors in their graduating classes. During the months of June and July, KUM News Primetime will showcase the valedictorians and salutatorians of each of our local high schools on Guam and the CNMI. Tune in to meet these exceptional young men and women and learn of their goals and aspirations as they undoubtedly are destined to become our future leaders. But that's not all. KOAM will also celebrate all class of 2023 high school and college graduates with a special montage during Weekend Edition and on KOAM Digital Properties. Join us as we salute these outstanding graduates for their incredible achievements and wish them all the best for their future endeavors. Stay tuned to KOAM News for more inspiring stories of success and excellence. Congratulations, class of 2023, presented by the University of Guam. New cheesesteak from Pizza Hut. Look at all that stirred on the steak. It's seasoned, it's grilled, it's vibing with those peppers and onions. New cheesesteak from Pizza Hut. Steak night every night. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know why you're so sad. You've got a roof over your head. You gotta stop with that depression stuff. That's a white people thing. You all right? It just feels like it's coming from everywhere. Do you want to talk about it? You can talk to me if you're feeling sad. Whenever you need to talk, I'm here, okay?
This message is brought to you by the KUAM Care Force and the Ashlam Foundation. Learn more at www.ashlam.com. Watch KUAM TV 8 live on Peacock. Check out our live channel, NBC shows, live sports original programming, movies, plus so much more. Visit PeacockTV.com slash local, download the app and subscribe today. All right, everybody, welcome back, my friends, to the hot spot here on KUM. Now, one of the things that makes Wednesdays here on the show so very wonderful is, well, you know, one, the work week's half over. We're that much closer to our wonderful island weekend, but we also get to celebrate our island's culture, courtesy of our friends at Nihi. Now, they make these amazing vignettes, these stories. Uh, they bring together uh, multi-generations, you know, uh, the ones that came before us uh, interact with the youth. They talk about culture. They talk about music. We saw the Bell and Batudzin a couple weeks ago. They talk about food, all the different aspects that makes uh, Guam Chamorro culture so very unique. And today we are going to talk about a item, let's say, the Ketupak, right? Uh, it has a very functional purpose. It's been traditionally um, used to hold rice. Making it is artistry in and of itself, knowing how to weave with coconut fronds, uh, knowing how to put it together. It's a tradition that typically is handed down from grandparents to their grandchildren. Um, you can go... Check out um, uh, down in beautiful in Alahan, the cultural center, Gifpago down there. They actually have a tutorial that you can do. But here is Nihid Zen KUM, where today we are talking about the Ketupak. We hope you enjoy. Nihi Zen KUM. And you can wear it like a necklace. That is cute. Here, let's go do this one. Oh, the tiny one? Yeah, because you're tiny. <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> Half a day. My name is Martha Tenorio. Hi, Nina. Hi, Nina. So today we're going to learn how to weave a katupa. Are you ready to learn? We're going to make one of these? Yeah. And do you know what it's for? Like cooking things? Yes, actually. We're going to cook rice. Like this is the ancient Chamorro's state. To weave a katupa, all you need is just one coconut leaf, just like this. Simple. Yes. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to have to separate the new hood or the midrib from the leaf. And I'm just going to use my thumbnail and I'm going to thumbnail. Yeah, go like that thumbnail. and then separate it away like that. There you go. You want to oh, try? It's broken. Okay, I'm going to start it for you. And then okay, I just go ahead. And then just put your finger in and just there. Like that. Oh, there that's go. so and easy. And then go ahead and separate the bottom. What? Once we separate the new hood from the leaf, we can begin weaving the katupa. The first thing I do is I put my hand between the two leaves. Then I take the leaf in the back and I go around the front leaf, around and the over. back, and then underneath my thumb. And then hold it down with your thumb. There you go, just like that. Now I'm gonna hold this leaf over here, that one. And I'm gonna turn it just a little bit to the left. So just a little bit like that. You got it's it? It's gonna rip. Oh, it's not gonna rip. It's strong. And then it just goes over the top like that. So look at that, just sit. Ta-da! <laughs> that was the next step. So this leaf here is going to go over this leaf and under this leaf. Come into my there, layer. Pull it through. That's right. <laughs> And then pull the pull the bottom out. Oh, this one. Yeah. yeah. We just took that leaf and it went over the top and underneath the bottom leaf, just like that. Okay. Now look at the back of your hand, and we're going to use this leaf now. The same thing. It goes over the top and under this leaf. So coming from this direction. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Go ahead and pull that through. Pull it all the way out. There you go. So again, what did we do? I took the other leaf. And I went over the top and underneath the bottom, and I slipped it through. Yeah. There we go. Oh, so go ahead and, take and my hand very carefully take it out. Okay, okay. there. Beautiful. So that's like the base? Yep, that's the base, Mine's exactly. Mine's tiny because I have like a small Plus, I, yeah, I gave you a thinner leaf to fit your hand. Yeah. Okay, are we ready for the next step? Okay. 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 You see this? Doesn't that look like a little house? Okay, so we're going to take... Through? Yes, but from the back door out the front door. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. 
There you go. Hold it to the side. Now take the other leaf and put it from the front door out the back door of the house. Come here. There you go. <laughs> All right, so for the next step, we're gonna take this leaf on the left and we're going to follow the side of the, the house, so right? So you put it under? So over this leaf, now under this leaf. Okay, I'm doing it like very focused. Oh, you're doing great. And then over that leaf and under this leaf. Oh no. Go ahead, pull it all oh, the way no. through. Pull it all the way through. Oh wait, yes. Ta-da! Okay. okay. We're gonna do the same thing on the other leaf on this side. Go ahead. You remember which leaves to under. go under? Yep. So that one. Oh no, oh no. And then which other? Okay. What other leaf? And then under this. This one right here. Yep. From the top down. Oh, from the top down. Hold on, hold on. There you go. Pull it all the Hold way on. There you go. Turn it upside down this way now. And bring your two leaves together. Now, we're going to take the leaf on the back and move it to the right. So you're going to open it like this. That's right. And then, taking this leaf here, so take that leaf and you go over and under. There it is. Go ahead, pull it. Come here. Come here, George. All the way, and then over and under. So it's going to go through this. Oh, my gosh. You got it. There you go, pull it all the way through. And there you go. Now turn it to the other side. Mm -hmm. Do the same and thing. The same thing. So we're going to go under, over, then under. It's not as easy as it looks. You got it? There you go. And then over, and then under. Right here. Okay. <laughs> pull it through. Good. Pull it through. Oh no. Look what you just made. Hey. Right? So I'm going to finish right. this one just to repeat the instruction. The two leaves come together, then I open it up, then I take the leaf on the left and I go over, and then between the two parallel leaves, under, over, and under, and that closes that hole right there. Turn it over to the other side, and I repeat the same thing. Over, under, keeping it between the two parallel leaves, over, and then <coughs> under. And now we have our ketupas. Hey! So now, are you ready to fill our ketupa with the pugas? The pugas is the uncooked rice, right? You need to pull the leaf out. So pull out yeah. just oh one okay. time out of Wait, there. Uh, uh, there we go. Which leaf? Oh, Either one. one. And now we can put the pugas into that. And you only want to fill it up halfway. Okay, it's satisfying to touch uncooked <laughs> rice. I just love it. I love the feeling of touching it. And then, <laughs> once you fill it up halfway, we can close up the ketupa. You know why we're filling it up halfway only, by the way? Because when it's cooked, it gets bigger. Exactly, there it's gonna expand, and then it's gonna fill up the whole ketupa. You're too smart, young lady. Why do you think it's important that we learn how to weave the ketupa? So we can eat good rice. Yeah. The, the morals say for Guam, this is one of the weave that brought up them. And when I was a little girl, my grandmother and my, my mom do the weaving. And I would sit on the floor, and they would, after they weave it, what we did. With, and then you would cook it up and eat it in the fiesta. These are actually the three most common ones from the Chamorro culture. Mm -hmm. But this katupa here, it's from my baby hands. It, it's very special to me because this is one katupa father. And I've never seen this particular style from anyone else on so Guam. Tiny. Isn't it? It's so cute. What do you weave most? What do I weave most? I think I mostly weave baskets and hats. I tried weaving. But you know what's my favorite thing to weave? What? Katupas. <laughs> <laughs> I can make so many things with them. And I put like uh, candy inside or pugwa and give it away. Rice. I can make lays with it. So I would attach it together and I make graduation lays and birthday lays with it. And I can also use Joker. it. Joker. My one year in uh, college, I made them out of ribbon and I used this decoration. So today, 
some rice that I cooked in the ketupa. Would you like to try some? Yes. Okay. And you can use scissors to open it up, or you can just undo the weaving. Oh, yeah. Juicy. Okay, go ahead. Give it a try. Come here, George. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like so it? So good. Right? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Me too. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this. Nihi Zen KUAM. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Ten out of ten. That that was absolutely amazing. Nourishment for the body, but most importantly, the mind and the heart. Our friends at Nihi, absolutely incredible. So make sure to check us out. Um, on our YouTube channel to see all the episodes. And please, absolutely, hit that bell. Subscribe, like, comment, rate, review. Give me some love because they absolutely deserve it because they are amazing. All right, you're amazing too. And we want to tell you what's coming up all around the island on News Bites when we return. Get up to the minute news, plus access to alerts, streaming radio, promotions, and more on your mobile device by downloading the KUAM News mobile app, available at the App Store now. To celebrate excellence, join KUAM News as we recognize the exceptional high school seniors of the class of 2023. These outstanding individuals have soared to great heights and have achieved the highest academic honors in their graduating classes. During the months of June and July, KUM News Primetime will showcase the valedictorians and salutatorians of each of our local high schools on Guam and the CNMI. Tune in to meet these exceptional young men and women and learn of their goals and aspirations as they undoubtedly are destined to become our future leaders. But that's not all. KUAM will also celebrate all class of 2023 high school and college graduates with a special montage during weekend edition and on KUAM Digital Properties. Join us as we salute these outstanding graduates for their incredible achievements and wish them all the best for their future endeavors. Stay tuned to KM News for more inspiring stories of success and excellence. Congratulations, Class of 2023, presented by the University of Guam. New cheesesteak from pizza. Look at all that stirred on the steak. It's seasoned, it's grilled, it's vibing with those peppers and onions. New cheesesteak from Pizza Hut. Steak night every night. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know why you're so sad. You've got a roof over your head. You gotta stop with that depression stuff. That's a white people thing. You alright? It just feels like it's coming from everywhere. Do you wanna talk about it? You can talk to me if you're feeling sad. Whenever you need to talk, I'm here, okay? This message is brought to you by the KUAM Care Force and the Ashlam Foundation. Learn more at www.ashlam.com. What you need to know from the Northern Marianas. Follow KUAM Cinemai on Instagram for the latest regional headlines. I know exactly what you're thinking right now. Yes, that was Darby in the head of the class 2023 uh, promotional spot. So that is coming up next. Yes, she did have braces. I had braces too. All the cool kids were doing it. Santa Rita Pete had braces like a few years ago. And, and this is way before Invisalign, which is also cool. But yeah, braces. Go check it out. Orthodontics, very, very important. All right. Equally critical is News Bites because we tell you everything that's happening around the island. First off, get your tickets. Destiny was telling you at the top of the show, Myla Tefancesa is happening Tuesday, May 23rd at the Hyatt. It's going to happen at the Guam Grand Ballroom from 6 to 9 p.m. and features some of the island's most talented chefs taking you through the island with some homegrown produce. Tickets are only 75 bucks, and check them out at Mescla, IDI, Tools of the Trade, or any MC a member. 28 years on the job, and it is not a job, it's a calling for our friends at the Natibu Dance Company, and they are celebrating that very wonderful milestone. Almost three decades of celebrating 
our island's inherent dance. They've got a showcase on the 27th at the UOG Fine Arts Theatre. There will be a noontime and 6.30 performance, $30 reserved seating, and $25 if you want general seating. But you know what? Fork out the extra like five bucks because it is definitely worth it. And congratulations to our friends at Natibo. And the Getting Guam Healthy 2023 5K Bubble Run Walk and Health Fair takes place on the 27th at Epau Beach. 5 a.m. is showtime and 6 a.m. is go time. 10 bucks for person, 20 bucks for person on race day and 30 for a family of four. Register at any of the Ignite locations. And while you're at Ignite, tell them Jason said your acai bowls are absolutely awesome. We, we love our friends at Ignite. All right, that is going to do it for this block, but stay tuned because we will be back at the end of the show right after this. Are you ready to celebrate excellence? Join KUAM News as we recognize the exceptional high school seniors of the class of 2023. These outstanding individuals have soared to great heights and achieved the highest academic honors in their graduating classes. During the months of June and July, KUAM News primetime of each of our local high schools on Guam and the CNMI. Tune in to meet these exceptional young men and women and learn of their goals and aspirations as they undoubtedly are destined to become our future leaders. But that's not all. KOAM high school and college graduates with a special montage during weekend edition and on KOAM digital properties. Join us as we salute these outstanding graduates for their incredible achievements and wish them all the best for their future endeavors. Stay tuned to KM News for more inspiring stories of success and excellence. Congratulations, Class of 2023, presented by the University of Guam. I don't know why you're so sad. You've got a roof over your head. You gotta stop with that depression stuff. That's a white people thing. You all right? It just feels like it's coming from everywhere. Do you want to talk about it? You can talk to me if you're feeling sad. Whenever you need to talk, I'm here, okay? This message is brought to you by the KUAM Care Force and the Ashlam Foundation. Learn more at www.ashlam.com. The American Red Cross Guam Chapter presents the 21st Annual Red Ball on May 28, 2023 at the Dusitani Guam Resort. Compassion to action. The American Red Cross, through its strong network of volunteers, donors, and partners, is always there in times of need. They aspire to turn compassion into action. Support the American Red Cross in fulfilling its vision. Save the date, May 28th, the 21st Annual Red Ball at the Dusitani Guam Resort. All right, everybody, we are out of time. So as my little cousin would say, go bye-bye. See you tomorrow.